Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Bruja Tarot. Today I am doing week four for the money and career, okay, for the month of May. All right, so let's get started here. Let's see what we got going on for a collective message for week four. For the fourth week of May, 2020, okay. Spirits, angels, guides, please give us clear messages. For this, someone wanted to say hello, the Knight of Swords. Okay, hello, Knight of Swords. Um, all right, please give us clear messages for week four, May 2020, money and career. For those who are watching, please give us clear messages. All right, guys, thank you so much for all your likes, your shares, your subscribes. I really appreciate it all. Let's see what we got going on here. All right. That's my guinea pig in the background. If you're listening to some, some beautiful chirping, that's him. All right, I'm going to pull five cards, okay? Um, for week four, okay, and as you may already know, this is the Chinese tarot deck, all right, and then I'm going to pull a fortune cookie at the end for this reading, okay, let's see what we got at the bottom of the deck, the bottom of the deck is the ten of cups, okay, and uh, the six of swords, okay, that's great, so I guess we're moving into, um, you know, a... We're moving into calmer waters here in week four. We're going to have um, emotional stability, happy family, happy life, coming coming together maybe with our family, okay? It's a possibility for some of you, okay? But definitely I feel like going into calmer waters where we're going to have a lot more emotional satisfaction here, okay? Let's see what we got here. And if you haven't seen yet my... Um, you know, my videos for money and career for the first three weeks of May, I recommend that you look at my playlist for money and career and you'll be able to see those there. OK, you might have there might be something there that might resonate with you. All right. In the current position is your current financial situation. OK, King of Staves. All right. This is a good place to be. OK, King of Staves is somebody who feels very confident, very mature, full of, you know, um, creative expression okay somebody who's well respected in the community and their home okay um so because they're well respected they're well taken care of right and you can kind of get that sense here how this king is being taken care of by the people by the women surrounding him right so you know whether you're male or female you feel this energy of being taken well taken care of because you've achieved this certain level of success, certain level of stability, okay, as the king of staves, the king of wands, okay? The king of wands is also, you know, kings tend to be very, uh, not only stable, but they're also very generous. So you might be feeling a position as if you're very generous right now too, okay? Let's see, the knight of cups, okay? So with the knight of cups, um... This is in the position of where your new sources of income are going to come from, okay? With the Knight of Cups, it's saying that um, you're going to be, you know, more in a position. The new sources are going to come from where you're going to be in a position where you have something um, to offer here, okay? So, or when you put yourself out as something to offer, okay? So, when you put out an emotion or a uh, a feeling or something you put yourself out there that's where your new sources are going to come from okay from you kind of offering something up to you know maybe uh, somebody you're trying to get a job with or or you already have a job but within your company you're offering something up to somebody okay let's see here and the opportunities that you need to consider is the five of staves, okay? Lots of wands here. So 
Uh, lots of creative energy, I feel, that's happening in the fourth week of May. And that's come out in other readings, too, actually. Lots of creativity happening around this time. So the opportunities that you need to consider is the Five of Spades. So the Five of Wands tend to, tends to be that card where people are kind of like in conflict with each other. But in this one here, I feel like it's more like, you know, uh, different personalities coming together to discuss something, right? So the opportunities that you need to consider is somewhat the opportunity where you can come uh, together with others and kind of share your creative ideas with each other, okay? Where you each kind of bring some level of knowledge to the table, right? You each kind of bring your own thoughts, your own opinions to the table. And these, creating these kind of opportunities for yourself, like I said, whether you're, you know, in a business now or you're working now, kind of coming together with others to share your, your, um, your ideas is the opportunity you need to consider for the fourth week of May, okay? Okay, and it says here that for this card in the book, five old men dispute the aesthetics of ancient paintings, right? So it is about maybe you are going to be in a dispute with other people at work regarding your ideas or regarding the next steps that you want to take. But that's okay, okay? Um, disputing doesn't necessarily always have to be like a negative thing if done correctly, right? If done calmly, you can argue with other people to argue your opinion. That's perfectly fine, okay? Um, however, you know, sometimes it can create also... You might feel like this creates obstacles for you or you might feel unsatisfied or you might feel like, you know... Um, it is a dispute more than a conversation, okay? But it's still in a position, this card is still in a position of the opportunities you need to consider. So it's saying, you know, don't back off from conflict. It's okay to engage in conflict. It might not be, you know, what you want to be doing. Um, but ultimately, I think this conflict is probably going to need lead to some very creative ideas here okay so let's see how these opportunities are are going to benefit you is the ten of staves yeah so you're going to arrive at this point where you feel like you've put in the hard work okay um you're you're kind of maybe you're ready to put that burden down okay maybe you did what you could here you expressed your opinion you came to offer something okay in this very king of of staves position right like you're coming to offer something here you're coming to offer your creativity your creative input your ideas okay and at the end of that you're gonna feel like okay i'm done like i put in my effort i put my ideas in and i'm ready to move on okay but that's okay it's okay to be that because i think what what this reading is saying for the fourth week of May for who this re reading resonates for, I think what it's saying is that because you're this king of staves, this very stable person who has a lot of knowledge, you want to bring your knowledge to the table here, okay? You want to bring your creative input to the table, okay? Even if it is, even if it does call, cause a dispute, that's okay, you know, just keep it calm, okay? But the opportunity that this is going to bring you is that, okay, you're going to be done with that particular battle, okay? Maybe you guys are deciding at work whether to get plastic plates or paper plates. There's a, a airplane flying over right now. Okay, sorry about that. Um, you know, or maybe you're, you're, you know, just having a discussion about planes, right? And maybe you guys design planes and you know, you have your creative idea of how you want to do this and somebody else has others. What I'm trying to say here is <laughs> that once you bring your input and your knowledge into whatever is happening here for you, you're going to be able to put that particular burden down and you're going to feel satisfied even though you're going to feel tired from it. You're going to feel satisfied that you put your best foot forward. Okay. Now let's see what the outcome is going to be for the fourth week of May is the Empress. Yes. 
because once you do this hard work here, okay, of putting yourself out there, giving your opinion, okay, you're going to feel like the empress, okay? You're going to feel like this very confident individual who's fertile. And when I say fertile, I just don't mean like you're going to have babies, but you could have creative babies, right? You could have creative ideas and the you're going to feel very well respected, okay, as the empress, okay? So I think this is a very nice reading for the fourth week of, of May. There's a little bit of potential conflict happening here, but I think the important thing is to stay calm and know that you're in a position to bring something important to the table, okay? And that it's necessary for you to bring that important piece to the puzzle, okay? It, your input is needed, okay? All right, let's see what we got here. Please give us one card from the... Oh, here we go. Ooh, sunshine. Sunshine. It says, the sun is shining on you. Career and business growth. Fabulous communication and relationships. That's wonderful. Let me read that again because I think I stumbled on my words here. Sunshine. The sun is shining on you. Career and business growth. Fabulous communication and relationships. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so just know that the sun is shining on you in this little potential conflict that you're going to come into. The sun is shining on you because you need to bring your knowledge forward here, okay? All right, let's see what we got here, guys. I'm going to pull a card here, too, from the Music Oracle because this is a fun little, fun little spread, fun little deck here, okay? Spirits, Angels, Guides, please give us one card. For those who are watching for this fourth week of May for the money and career reading, please give us one card. Money and career, week four. All right. Ooh, Kate Bush. Any Kate Bush fans out there? Never let go of mystery. Cultivate nostalgia for what never was. The arrows of desire are sometimes dipped in poison. Ooh, okay. All right. Let me read that to you again, okay? Kate Bush. If you've never heard her music, she's pretty cool. You may want to just listen to one of her songs after this. Never let go of mystery. I think that's an important thing to do never let go of mystery keep that idea of magic and mystery alive for sure cultivate nostalgia for what never was okay so maybe cultivate nostalgia for things that you know weren't accomplished that you can accomplish now okay sorry there's another car that just went by here and then the arrows of desire are sometimes dipped in poison so, you know, just be careful with your desires here, I think is what this is saying, okay? But ultimately, you know, the sun is shining on you, okay, this week. So put yourself out there with your ideas calmly and you're going to have great results. All right, guys, this was the reading for the fourth week of May for Money and Career. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. It helps my channel grow, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.